What's going on today, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to bypass that iCloud lock activation. You know, that one that everybody hates. Um, this right here works 150%. I already tried it on numerous devices. Um, the 4S, the 5S, the iPod Touch, first generation. And this one is the iPhone 7 Plus. We're going to do this one together. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out there that claim they know how to do it. They're all spam and, or trying to get money out of you, etc. This right here, I don't want nothing from you guys. I just want to share it with you because it was getting on my nerves too. First, I'm going to show you guys that this does have the lock on it. Yeah. Alright. Like I said, it works on all the phone, all phones and uh, iOS's. Like, so far, I might as well say I tried them on different ones. Alright, like you see, it does have the lock on it. Hit back. Hit back. All right, now once you're on your Wi-Fi page, what you want to do is get these little blue symbols up. How to get those up is just to hit your home button and then hit more Wi-Fi settings. Once those are up, you just go to yours and you hit it. Go to forget this network. Forget. Then go hit back. Then hit the blue circle again. Now it's all empty. Go to where it says DNS. You're going to type this in. 104.154.511.7. And then just hit back. Alright. That's basically it. I ain't even going to lie to you. Now just log back into your Wi-Fi as normal. Password. Okay. All right. Once it gets to the next page, just hit the back button. All right. Just like so. Boom. There you go. All right. Now this right here lets you use your iPhone. Like the way you kind of want. You can go through all of these that you want. You know, SMS, news, marketing, audio, video, application, and stuff like that. Go through everything how you want. But what I want to show you is this. Go to applications. Go to iHack DNS. I like this one a lot because this one right here makes your iPhone look like the iPhone, obviously. Um, where you get all your social media, your icons, and stuff like that. See? Like I said, this right here works on all iPhones, all iOS's. Um, I mean, that's just that's, that's it, man. It's easy. That's it. You can go to whatever you want to go to. You got YouTube here. You got the App Store, Siri, Photos, Camera. You even got the weather. That's where I'm at right now. 43 degrees. Ain't that bad. And yeah, today is April 7th, 2017. Um, just to let you know that this is working as of this date. No problem. Um, just to show you that one of these work. Um, let me see. I go to... Let me see, you got, even got Hulu, Netflix, Gmail, I mean, Skype, Facebook, Messenger. You know what I'm saying? You got Twitter. You got everything in here. Um, let me see. Let's just go to YouTube real quick. No cuts in the video, no nothing, everything is just works, no problem. I'll just click on anything just to show you. There you go. Works, no problem. Alright. Now let me show you something else that's cool with this. Cause, alright, now once you're now once you did all of this and you're here and stuff like that, you don't have to do this every time. Like say if you turn your phone off. Once you do it once for the Wi-Fi, say if you're at home and you did it for your Wi-Fi once, you never have to do it again once you're at home. <clears throat> you're somewhere else and you did it for that Wi-Fi signal, you never have to do it again 
there, etc., etc. Turn the phone back on. Like I said, this is the iPhone 7 Plus running, I think, iOS 10.21. Um, go through your regular setup. Like I said, you don't have to do all that Wi-Fi setting thing again or nothing. Your regular setup. And click on your Wi-Fi. See, it's still there. Just go back on it. Just put your password in again. Keep on saying I'm putting in the wrong password. I don't know why. I'm just gonna turn it off again. Wait till it turns back on. Alright, turn it back on.